Hi, I'm Scott Petty. Welcome to the show. Today I want to show you a different style of baby book. What I've done is an altered book and I've taken an old book and recovered it and made some special things. What's cool about these is when you put them on a bookshelf, it looks like a normal book until you look inside. And you can see I've cut out a window and I've put some three-dimensional objects in it and I've covered it with plexiglass. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I did is I dug through my baby book and I knew I wanted to take some of these items out of it because they're my baby book. I liked the title. I'll just show you some of these. Baby picture, um, headlines, I'm going to use that. And also the identification marks. My necklace was hanging right in here. And I also love this vintage style writing. So I'm going to use some of these elements and you can see also some of the cards that my parents got. I'm going to scan those in the computer and uh, print up like the signatures and, and congratulations. Next, I needed a book and I went to a yard sale and found this great collection of old books and I bought them. But before I tore them apart, I looked inside and this is a Dickens 1892. So I decided not to tear this one up and destroy it. So check your books first. Don't, don't destroy something that's valuable. I went to a thrift store instead and I got this book, 75 cents, hardcover. It looks like a good size. It's thick enough for what I need it for. And don't worry about the color because we're going to recover this anyway. So the first thing we do is we want to pull some pages back where we're going to put some photographs and some other text and figure about that much. And we want to use just simple wax paper because the gel medium will not stick to that. And we put that down and just tape this over. With my handy tape. And we do the back too. And I think I'm going to leave one page just in case I want to put something there too. And that just goes in like so. Now next, we're going to seal this up and I found the easiest way is just to use Liquitex gel medium. It has many uses. Uh, you can use it as a glaze, you can use it as glue, you can use it as texture for your paintings. I'm using it to glue this book down and you just brush it all the way across the pages. Don't worry about getting it on the wax paper because it's not going to stick. And also you see it's going on white, it dries clear so don't worry about it unless you brush it too much. If it starts to dry and you continue to brush, it's going to kind of dry cloudy. So. Brush it on and leave it alone. And let it dry 20 minutes in between each coat. And I do about two to three coats at least. And when that's all ready to go, you want to make sure that it's lined up and not sitting crooked because your book is going to dry like that and sit crooked. So get it straight, put some weight on it, and there you go. Now when it's done, this is what you end up with. A nice book that's nice and solid. The pages aren't going to open now. It's going to be real easy to cut and it held it together. I've already marked off the size of the opening that I want and I'm going to use a brand new, brand new utility blade. In fact, have a couple. Um, it's just going to make it much easier. And what we do is just start trimming. Do a few pages at a time. Don't try to dig in too deep because it could be dangerous and you just want to take your time with this. In fact, it's going to take a long time. So be patient, but it's well worth it. So we just cut that and these pages just come right out. So just keep going until you get to the desired depth that you're going to need to fit your items. And when you're all done, you're going to end up with that. A nice pocket to put your items in. And what I'm going to do, don't worry about this messy edge. We're going to cover it anyway. And what I've done, I went ahead and did the other side is I have glued in some foam core pieces. And what this is for is it's going to hold a sheet of plexiglass down and I need a little lip for that to hold. So we take these. I've already trimmed them to size. You need two smaller ones and two large ones and these just kind of pop right in there. And I'm going to glue gun these in. Like so. Now leave enough space for your plexiglass to sit flush with your book. Now these are glued in. I'm ready to line it. And what I chose to line it with was just a fleece blanket, which I thought matched the baby blanket in the picture perfectly. And we're going to glue that in with hot glue. And next, I add my baby spoon. And I went ahead and hot glued that on the back because it's metal and I didn't think I'd hurt it. And then 
my baby necklace, which is really cool because it's in the photograph that's going to sit right next to it. And that I just kind of place in there, something kind of interesting. And I went ahead and stitched that to the blanket. You could also use hot glue, but I just, I wanted it to kind of move around a little bit and there we go. Now I'm going to seal this in using a piece of plexiglass and I got this 8x10 at a hardware store. It was under $2 and it's real easy to cut. You want to score it with a utility knife and then just snap it and it snaps real easy and you're going to get a nice clean cut and it comes with a protective cover on it. I want to peel that off now. And my plexiglass just sits right in like so. And then I just seal it off with a couple dabs of hot glue and that should be strong enough. Now you're looking at this ugly little edge and I'm going to show you how we get rid of that. I went ahead, the paper that I saved before, we're just going to fold that over. And what I did, here's my pencil, is I make a nice little oval. I decided to do an oval and not try to do a perfect little square because this you might not get it so perfect. And I'm just going to tear around this oval like so. And I'm going to leave myself some room in case I need to tear out some more. I just don't want to show any of that ugly edge in there. And there you go. So I'm going to glue that page down with a glue stick. Next, I'm going to start adding some of the items that I scanned from my baby book. And I used an inkjet printer, and I know I'm going to do a glaze over this with some paint and gel medium. Um, you need to seal this or it's going to bleed all over the place. Believe me, I found out the hard way. So I use a Krylon workable fixative and just give that a quick shot, and it seals in the ink, and then you can get it wet, and it's not going to bleed on you. I like how that sits around the spoon, and I'm going to go ahead and glue that down there with a glue stick. And that just sits right there. And I tore it instead of a perfect cut, it just gives it kind of a nice collage look. And baby's picture, um, and there's a baby's picture right there. I'm going to put that on the opposite page because if you look real closely, you will see B. Petty, which is the necklace that's in here. And I thought that was kind of cool, so I'll put them side by side. It's kind of a living photograph. So I went ahead and I filled my book up with all kinds of neat stuff and I chose to glaze it down, just an antique, because this looks a little bright and I'll show you what, what that looks like when it's all done. And then I chose to cover this cover in paper. And what I chose was a nice cherry blossom paper. It had some gold leaf in it and uh, it kind of had an Asian feel to it and I did my title in an Asian style lettering, First Sun, which is me and that went right through my printer, no problem, as of yet. I, I'm not going to recommend it, but my printer made it. If you're using a bubble jet printer, you're going to need to seal that. And again, use the workable fixative and just give that a spray, and then if you handle it, it's not going to bleed on you. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. Looks like a normal book, and as you open it up, there's the inside cover that I chose from my baby book. This book belongs to, this altered book belongs to, and there's the title. And you can see I did a glaze on this. I did an antique glaze, something simple. I didn't want to go too crazy because it is a baby book, kind of keep it a little clean, but you can use all kinds of colors. You can use whatever you want. There's the picture of me uh, with my necklace. There's the necklace inside, and I couldn't stop on just one side. I did the same technique on the back that I showed you, the cutout, and there is my first lock of hair. There's my mother, my father looking like Elvis. Thank you very much. And there's me. And what I did to finish it off is I used a nice gold leaf paint. It matches the paper here and it just makes it look nice and fancy. That tucks away on a bookshelf and no one will ever know it's an altered book till they pull it out and take a look at it. So thanks for watching. I'm Scott Petty and I'll see you again. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.